but he's got this sweet little gym in Patalung. Patalung is the most beautiful place in Thailand I've ever been. It's incredible. And his gym is called Ban Muay Thai, which actually just means like house of Muay Thai. Um, and it's at his house, which is kind of cool. So he does possible. Diesel Noi says to teep after your run to teep a tree. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to block with my front leg. He hooked it and pulled me forward so that I actually switched stance and then he hit me when I couldn't protect myself again. So basically you get your opponent blocking first. So he said kick first because that's going to get your opponent to block. Then you know that their block is coming up and you just with like your instep just kind of hook the back of the bottom of their leg and pull them across. <laughs> oh. Karhat teaches us as well. Look at where on his foot he's hooking the back of my foot. And then he just made this uh, distinction, which Karahat talks about as well, which is you actually start pulling as their leg starts coming down. That's what really off balances someone because they think they're going to step. It's like when you step off a curb and it's like deeper than you thought it would be or there's like not another stair because you're not paying attention. That's what's happening when your weight is starting to come down and, and someone slides you across. This is... Nam Kabuan does this actually. When you catch a teep and you pull down and across, it's very similar to what he just did with hooking the block, but you pull the teep down to force someone's weight. <laughs> He's pulling me off the rope instead of punishing me. And I'm using my shin as like a wall of China to try to like keep him off of me. He's showing me here something that Pyrot Noi, who's in the Muay Thai library, he also did this, which is when someone catches your kick, you pull your heel towards yourself to basically like fish hook them into you and then you can grab their neck. Now, he can't knee me. He's trying to grab my body, but his head is down, his roof is broken. And so I can just stomp my leg that's against him down and land a knee into his like curved body. Lock L, I mean, L is the waist, so he's saying lock my waist, and he's like, do this really hard. I'm squeezing really hard, but he's showing me to use the blade of the bone on your um, forearm, which I know this lock on the back of the neck, this is very painful. He's putting it into the ribs. So see how he's even overturned on me. He's squeezing so hard. <laughs> that would give you cauliflower ear in like four days. So nasty. He's again, he's overturned. He's in a bad position, but he's squeezing my head so hard that it basically, even though I have the better position, it punishes me so hard I'll probably let go of him. His right arm is hooking the back of my heel. That's beautiful. And he's basically forcing my legs straight and kind of pushing me with his left arm at the same time. Japnen means like hold his neck, like for real. So he can't come forward because my shin is against him. So instead he pulls my heel, he rotates me instead of trying to go forward or back. Because I couldn't go back, he was stuck to me. He pushed a little bit with his leg in order to like projectile me, but he's really just turning me from the back of my heel. I was really struggling with this. Look at my legs. See how that's not a natural way that I would ever be standing. <laughs> Look at how he's standing. That's a very normal way of me standing. But so he grabs the back of my heel and at the same time as he's like putting pressure on the back of that heel, he's rotating my shoulder on the opposite side. Reminded me of Hippie. Hippie's from the south, Kunpanit's from the south. <laughs> I said, Hippie also does this move, and he's like, no, Hippie does this move. <laughs> just <laughs> basically, as someone's coming after him, he, he just bars them. 
That's actually exactly how Hippie said he fought Boon Lai. <laughs> the way Kun Panit just uh, imitated him is exactly what Hippie says he did against Boon Lai. Oh. Again, learning how to dramatize your moves. That's there, what I did to him earlier. Which is when someone comes to teep your leg, you just pull your leg back and then kick with that same leg. <laughs> He's just teeping my leg with his back against the rope. So annoying. Look at how he's breaking my rope with it, too. <laughs> he's very careful not to put his arms on the rope. He knows. He's very, very careful not to do it. My arm on the rope, that's a foul. So see how he's got his knee up in the air, but he's turning his heel this way and that way so that he can actually block from different angles and teep me back. So he's got this kind of like all-inclusive block because he can kind of like swing that knee and that foot in different directions for no matter what I'm trying to get him with, even though he's kind of backed into a corner.